Yo, it's your boy Ado. I hope you're all having a good day. We're going to be looking at a La Liga starter squad, one that is on a tight budget and fits the meta. Seeing a lot of starter squads that equivalent to like 2 300k, which is quite unrealistic for most people at the start of FIFA. So we'll build you one on a budget and show you potential upgrades after that. If you do enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on. If you've got any other ideas for YouTube videos as well, squad builders or even other types of videos, just write them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And also, if you want to join us on our live stream on Twitch every day, 6 p.m., the link is in the description below. So let's flip the switch now and have a look at the players we're going to put in. So the first player that is going to go in the left wing position, bear in mind we're using this just for chemistry and then in-game we'll probably go to like a 4-2-3-1 is usually like the standard meta tactic in most sort of FIFAs. So the first player is going to be, I believe his name is Goncalo Guedes. And the reason we put him in is because he's got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, which is really good. He's got average mobility. He's got pretty good pace, so you can buff his sort of finishing and mobility. Something like a sniper would be really good. There are other players that you might be wondering, the likes of Carrasco, if we look at his stats. But I do believe he's going to cost a lot more because he's got more pace. He's also, I believe, got four-star skill moves and weak foot. So yeah, I'm better shooting, so I do feel like it will cost a lot more. But yeah, he'd be a, a better alternative. I'm not really sure on what the price will be of Ansu Fati. Obviously, his stats aren't really out yet on the database. Maybe he's got 4-star, four 4-star four again. And he's a non-rare, I believe, as it shows, unless they change it. So he might be someone that might be a little bit cheaper, but because of the links, the team, etc., he could easily be a lot. Obviously, Eden Hazard, etc., is going to be a lot more premium than Bele, etc. So that's the left winger. And then the striker is going to be... Aspas and the reason we are picking him is because again he's got four star weak foot which is good for a starter squad he's got really good mobility 90 agility that'll make up for the sort of lack of balance he's got 89 finishing and really good sprint speed so with the right chemistry card you can buff those stats and make him look even better and then in the right wing position we've got three sort of options and obviously we don't really know what their prices are going to be Rodrigo's got the worst weak foot and he plays for Real Madrid so you can expect them to be still costing a lot as he is pacey as well personally I'd go for Korea and I'll show you why it's because if you look at the dribbling stats you've got really good agility balance and dribbling and also pace and shooting to be honest it's a lot more sort of balanced out compared to Porto who's got sort of lacks a lot of composure reactions agility is not as high but yeah they're both going to be the ones that I'd be looking to start for in the right wing position. It kind of depends on who's going to be more affordable. Obviously, maybe it will be poor too because of his links. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see for that one. So they're the sort of three players I'd be looking at in that position. And then in the centre mid, we are going to go for the players being linked with Arsenal. For the whole transfer window is Partey. He, I believe he is staying at Atletico Madrid. He is lacking pace. Um, the dribbling makes up for the lack of sort of balance and agility. But yeah, he's going to be a really good DM. He's going to feel kind of like Sissoko does on FIFA. And then in the camp position, like I said, the 4 2 3 one in game, we've got Fekir. He's got the buff, four-star weak foot. He was in one of my previous French builder squads. If you want to check that out, it's my latest video before this. He's got really good stats as well. And yeah, we've got our DM. We've got our cam. This player is going to cost you a bit more than the others just because he's had a massive buff this year and he really fits the meta. But still, he's not going to be crazy expensive. And yeah, he just had the, the stats they've put on him. is just unbelievable. He's going to be a lot more mobile. There ain't that many sort of mobile DMs that are good in La Liga at an affordable price. So him next to Partey is going to be an unbelievable sort of partnership. At the right back position, you could be looking at someone like Jesus Navas, but I do believe he'll cost quite a bit more so someone on a sort of cheaper budget is going to be Kappa who obviously gives a strong link obviously you can do a hybrid if you want this is just an idea of a La Liga starter squad so someone like Kappa maybe save up for Jesus Navas that sort of player and then in the left back position we are going to have and this might surprise you we are going to have Alberto Moreno just because he's got pretty good pace and decent stats and like with an anchor it'll be a really good card for the start of the game like I said, you have to remember on a budget, there are obviously Mendy, even Junior Firpo, who could, I don't know how much he's going to be, but he's a potential card that you can slot in at left back as well. If we actually look at the left backs in La Liga, you'll see Gaia, but I do believe he'll cost quite a bit more as well. But Chiche, I think he'll be costing more as well. But they're very good alternatives. The left back position is very rich this year. Renan Lodi as well. I just think they'll cost a lot more than Marino will at the start of the game. As centre-back, we are going to go with this guy as well. I do think he's just going to do a really good job at the start of the game. We're not going to be putting in Militao and Diego Carlos, if you're wondering. Just, they're going to cost a lot. You need to understand. They're going to be 
very expensive at the start of the game because they're just extremely metal. So next to him, this guy will be sort of fairly priced, but he's going to be worth it because he's got good pace and then you can just slap like an anchor on him and he will do a really good job for you, Nacho Fernandez. The goalkeeper position, this one we don't really know until the price is. What you're going to want to do is just go for the goalkeeper that's got the highest diving reflexes and position and that's the sort of most important goalkeeper stats and obviously got a good height and then you put a basic chemistry style on them and then yeah they'll do a job really is 82 rated but he's got some of the maddest stats you will see 88 reflexes reflexes mean sort of how quick they react to an actual shot which helps the diving so yeah we can literally put in any there probably Vachlik for now so that's the starter squad for the La Liga team this is some of the alternatives you can upgrade to we've got Valverde we've got Nigel De Jong Porto at right wing then Dembele at left wing or black centre back We've got Varane, Militao, Lengle, etc. Hezus Navas at right back. And then Berlan Mendy at left back. So that is the sort of players you can look forward to upgrading to eventually. But yeah, that's the end of the start. It's good for La Liga. Like I said, comment down below if you want me to do any other ones. Smash that like button. See you next time. Spin your boy. That leaves one more thing to say. Safe!